welcome to Shimano's in-depth video on Hollow Ace Connection. Today we're going to be teaming up with Shimano Pro staffers Justin Poe and Ted Sakai to bring you the most comprehensive, detailed, and easy to understand video on how to work with Hollow Ace and Power Pro Line, including how to make Hollow Ace to Hollow Ace connections, how to whip a loop, and how to make your own wind-on leaders. So let's join Justin and Ted and take the mystery out of Hollow Ace Connection. Proudly brought to you by Shimano, makers of the finest fishing tackle in the world. Fish with the best, fish Shimano. And by Power Pro. Experience the Power Pro advantage. Power Pro, proven power. Now that we've whipped our loop into our, in our line on our reel, the hollow waist on our reel, we want to show you how to basically attach a, a pre made wind on fluorocarbon leader. There's lots of different fluorocarbon leaders on the market, lots of different wind on leaders. They basically all attach the same way. It's all a loop to loop connection. This is a very, very clean connection, uh, very easy to cast, very easy to go through the guides. It doesn't matter whether or not you got pressure on it or not. So Ted's going to show us how to attach the fluorocarbon wind-on leader. On the packaging of the wind-on fluorocarbon leader, it has directions on the back of the actual package itself. It shows you how to complete the loop-to-loop -loop connection and a little bit of descriptive uh, how to do it. But you know, Ted's going to show you right here, which is even a lot easier to, to learn from. Taken, you just want to get a little bit of line to work with, and uh, there's, as you can see, there's a loop whipped on the back end of the wind-on leader, which Ted will show you. Now, here's the loop that is attached to the wind-on leader. You basically take take the hollow ace, and you want to keep the you want to keep the line parallel, and you want to basically put it through the loop of the wind-on leader. Once you insert that there, you back, reach back through the loop of hollow ace and you reach for the spool of fluorocarbon and you pull it up through the loop in the hollow ace. Now from here you pull it back down to where you can get to that little, see that little blue piece there in the end? That little saddle of blue line, you grab that and pull it back down, pull the, that back through and pull it back up through again. Now you've effectively gone through two times now we recommend you know two or three some people do six you know I think three is about as most you need reach through grab the hollow ace again and then again pull the fluorocarbon leader up through the hollow ace again now you gotta hold tension and you wanna pull down very smoothly very slowly because if you get those the different legs of the hollow ace off you'll have a little bump in your line and you, this is, the whole thing about this is a smooth transition so basically pull very slow very steady let it all line up and scoot it back down to where you have a very small tight compact to that connection. That right there is your only connection and uh, that's the only bump you're going to have in your line and that's about as smooth as it gets for putting spectra to fluorocarbon right there. That's sweet. And the great thing about this is you can change so quickly you know uh, you can whip a loop you know once you get good at whipping a loop you can whip a loop in a few seconds uh, as opposed to you know having to tie the bimini twist or something like that to double the line but you know if you make that loop there it's very very simple and it's about the smoothest connection you can possibly have through the guide. Fish with the best, Power Pro and Hollow Ace, the finest rated microfilament lines in the world. 